Hello and welcome to Mark in the Park, the program put on by Urbana Park District, where I, Mark Schultz, talk about the latest things going on in the Park District and how we let you know that you belong here. Something in the Park District for everybody. Joined by Judy Miller. She's the Environmental Program Manager for Urbana Park District. Hello. Hi. And we're talking about Strawberry Jam today. It's happening June 16th. It Tell is. us about it. What is Strawberry Jam? First of all, there won't be Strawberry Jam there. A lot of people come expecting us to be selling Strawberry Jam. Um, a little history about this event. The event was originally called Strawberry um, Moonshine Social. And because the June moon is called the Strawberry Moon, because okay. that's when strawberries come out, um, it had that name for about 10 years, from 1989, 88, 89 to 2000. Um, and because of the confusion and to shorten it and, and really represent what we um, have at the event, which are primarily uh, bluegrass or Americana bands that like to jam, um, that's where the name comes from. So this event will be celebrating um, next year, along with the Nature Center's 40th anniversary, will be the 30th anniversary for Strawberry Jam, and um, we'll have to be thinking of some ways that we'll be celebrating that. But this is an evening event um, held usually the Saturday before Father's Day every mm -hmm. year out at Meadowbrook Park. It's a, a kind of a low key come and bring your picnic and your chair and your blanket and sit out and listen to music. We also have hay rack rides people enjoy that take a tour through the park. We have walks in the prairie. We have um, the Herb Society usually is there to give people tours of the herb garden. Sometimes they have plants that they're giving away. Um, we have a couple other venues. Uh, usually our sponsors have a table up with information and games and activities for people to do. Um, there's been face painting that Health Alliance has brought in for the past couple years, and usually the line to get face painted, um, they're, they're People who do it are incredible what they do on people's faces with their paints. Um, but we also have Grand Prairie Friends and Audubon Society also have a table there. Sometimes the library comes with books mm -hmm. on resources that um, people can sit and look at books while they're listening to the music. Um, but the highlight, of course, besides the music, is that we give out free samples of strawberries and ice cream. While, and so while supplies last, which is usually till about 6.30 or 7 o'clock, we uh, get strawberries and ice cream donated from local ve vendors. Um, we have a staff uh, gathering where everybody chops up the strawberries to get them ready for the event. And um, people just come out. We have had anywhere between three and 4,000 people for the last couple summers. Um, so it's really? a it's a very fun event and very relaxing event to come to. Well, the strawberries and ice cream have sold me. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. That's a very popular popular feature for it, and it's a way that we celebrate the strawberry moon. And it sounds like it's geared to uh, all ages. And uh, if you like the music, great. If the music's not quite your thing, there's still a lot to do. There is. Um, and the three bands that we have this year, we. we typically to stay with bands that are local, um, that have a local following, obviously. Um, so from four to five, we have the Bashful Youngins, um, and this will be their second or third year with us. Mm -hmm. um, then we have a break for setup for the next band, and so from 5.30 to 6.30, we have High Cotton, which is another a string band that we'd be playing, and they've played several years at Strawberry Jam. And then the, from seven to eight, for our final band, we have a new band um, called Hobnob String Band. Band, and we're excited to have them come and play and, and share their music with, with the public. Um, parking can be an issue because there's only a, a small parking lot at the Race Street entrance and the one over by Prairie Play tends to fill up as well. So the uh, Stone Creek Church down the street from Meadowbrook Park has allowed us over the last several years to use their parking lot as well, um, which really provides um, access. We're working on getting um, a golf cart type vehicle to cart help move people that are have some mm -hmm. mobility issues um, to the park from that parking lot but we also have accessible parking as as well but that can be a limit we have all ages come to this event um, all nationalities um, it's just really a fun community event that's great and tell us a little bit about the the time it's a Saturday June 16th mm -hmm. 
when do things kick off and well, the, when does the music start to play sure. and when do things kind of start to wrap up? Um, well, we start, the events will be set up sometime. We'll start setting up um, the moving tables out and chairs out. And so uh, about 3 o'clock, the event starts at 4 and goes until dusk, which is usually about 8.15, 8.30 on uh, that summer night. Um, but on this year, we're actually doing something a little different for the day of the event. Um, because the park district has been chosen as part of the Master Gardener's Garden Walk this year, mm -hmm. the the garden around the Meadowbrook Interpretive Center will be a visiting site for that. And so we decided to add some other activities in the park that day and are doing a day at the park um, that precede the whole Strawberry Jam. So you could come out to the park and spend the whole day there if you'd like. Uh -huh. um, starting at 9 o'clock, we'll have our yoga in the park uh, over by Prairie Play. And that goes from 9 to 10. And then the garden walk is from 9 to 4. So you could come before the event starts and see the garden and talk to um, Park District staff and the garden people about what is planted there. From 10.30 to noon, we have a bee spotter blitz, bee blitz. That's where we're going to go out with people from the University of Illinois to look for bees and pollinators that, um, that no, basically they're counting them, kind of like a bird count, but we're actually counting insects, counting bees that, that we uh -huh. find and identifying them. Um, a lot of people may be aware that bees are having some problems because of um, habitat loss and pesticide use. And so this is an important way that the public can be help, part of the citizen science uh, group that will be out there that day looking for bees. And then from 1 to 3, out behind Meadowbrook's Prairie Play, we'll be doing some kite flying. Um, so people can come and bring their kite or make a kite and put it up in the sky. The field behind Prairie Play is a perfect place to go out and fly a kite. Yes, it is. Um, and then um, we're working, I'm, I'm currently looking to find uh, a food truck or two to be at either the lunchtime venues or um, to come out at Strawberry Jam and have some dinner items for us. That's something mm -hmm. we haven't done in a long time, and so we'll be looking at that as well. So people can come out for the whole day. They can come out at 9 o'clock in the morning and stay until 8.30 at night and have a full day of a, a wonderful experience in the park. That's fantastic. And the, and the music kicks off about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Correct. The okay. first band starts at 4 o'clock, um, and then they go until about 8, 8.15. Sounds like a lot of fun. Now, we talk about Meadowbrook Park, and there may be people new to Urbana. Where is Meadowbrook Park located? Meadowbrook Park is found both on the Windsor Road and the Ray Street entrance. There's two entrances to the park. Clark Lindsay Retirement uh, Village is right on the corner between the two entrances to the park. Uh, for Strawberry Jam, um, the parking and the event will be at the Ray Street entrance. So if you go south on Ray Street, just past Windsor, you can't miss the park. It's right there. Um, and again, parking will be also at the Stone Creek Church. Um, for some of the activities in the morning, they'll be held at the Prairie Play parking lot, which is off of Windsor and Vine Street. Um, the park is 130 acres uh, big and it has lots of trails, both paved path as well as mowed path areas. And so um, we encourage people to come out and explore the, the sculptures that are there and the wildlife that you might see and the flowers that will be in bloom at this time of year. Basically the corner of Race and Windsor and you can't miss it. You can't miss and it. And if not, roll the window down and listen for the music. There you go. The music. <laughs> um, so as far as um, there's, there's no admission. It's free. You can come in as you are, bring a lawn chair, bring a picnic blanket, and enjoy yourself, right? And that's exactly the attitude we want people to come with. It's just to come and enjoy the evening with everybody else, without, with your neighbors. We have quite a few people that this is their summer kickoff. This is what they nice. bring their family to to get ready and say, this is summer now. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, we in encourage everybody to come. But we want to let people know that we that the Park District doesn't provide any seats. You don't have folding chairs. We out. have some park benches and we also have some picnic tables out, but we encourage people to bring lawn chairs of their own because um, those go pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, there is um, some shade. There's we Usually you can tell what time of day people arrive because they'll be in the shady spots that are shady at four, um, <laughs> by, but by six o'clock there's shade all the way around because the, the sun is um, lower in the horizon mm -hmm. at that point. Now any restrictions on what you can bring food? Bottles, um, there, like there is no restriction on food. Um, we don't allow any alcohol beverages in any of our parks, and so no alcohol beverages. We will have lemonade and water available. 
free for charge as well. Um, and again, we we're working on having a food truck or two there as well, that so people could bring, could buy, we hope potentially, and we'll put that on our flyer information as we get closer to the event, um, information about what vendors will be there. All right, Strawberry Jam, Saturday, June 16th, pretty much all day at Meadowbrook Park, yes. corner of Yes, come Windsor and enjoy and the day at the park. <laughs> the music kicks off about 4 o'clock. Now, Correct. if people want to know more about uh, Strawberry Jam, where can they find out the they information? They can go to the Park District's webpage at urbanaparks.org, or they can give us a call at the Nita Purvis Nature Center at 384-4062, and there will be flyers going out soon, and uh, we'll do an ad in the newspaper as well. Judy Miller. Big doings for Strawberry Jam. It'll be fun this year. Have fun putting it together and Thank we'll you. be watching. And we'll be coming up. To that <laughs> I too. hope so. All right. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us for Mark in the Park. And for more information about Urbana Park District, you can go online, urbanaparks.org. I'm Mark Schultz. Thanks for joining us.